What's going on everybody? We're here and we're here talking about our first time trucking fail slash Warner trucking fail today. Yes. Let's get started and I'll tell you probably one of the first crazy trucking fail stories that happened to me, man. Whew, what a bad day that was. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on everyone we are back here and probably like one of the crazy crazier first time trucking fail stories for me <clears throat> I was at a uh, Walmart DC Elwood Illinois it's right on 55 and probably like a little southwest of uh, Chicago I uh, had an early morning pickup you know drop and hook deal and and if you ever work for Warner or have worked for Warner, you know that some of these loads that you that you get are one they're usually already late pickup, two they're or they're huge open window pickups. You know, it, it, it's a, it, there could be crazy things that go on with it. <clears throat> so this one was actually supposed to pick up the day prior, and I didn't know it when I got there. So I, you know, I had an early morning pickup. You know, it was probably like, I don't know, 6 a.m. or whatever. It was a, I'm sorry, it was like a 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. pickup. So, you know, I got there first thing in the morning. I can get get in and get out of there, you know. So, you know, we went and found our spot. And if, you remember, if you've ever been to the D.C. there, Walmart, D.C. and Elwood, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's your normal size Walmart. You know, there's, you know, you, you know, drop your trailer here. Here's your trailer. Go here. Blah, blah, blah. So we, we, we dropped our empty and did our thing. And uh, and for some reason, I, you know, I remember, you know, hooking up to the trailer. And, you know, I, I went through the yard a couple times. And, and I remember when I hooked up to the trailer, you know, I gave it the tug test and everything. And, you know, did, did my normal thing. And, and then, you know, in my mind, I'm in a hurry, you know, because it was one of those that had to be delivered same day deal. So you know, it was like a, you know. 375 425 miles loaded or something like that so you know i had a full clock no problem you know we, we can do it so that was the reason i wanted to get there first thing and i'll have the whole day to do it so we you know we get we find our trailer and it was about 38 to 40 000 i'm just gonna say i'm not really exactly remember how much it weighed so we got hooked up to the trailer and we're you know kind of cruising through the parking lot you know <laughs> <laughs> and you know how with the ELDs at Warner, you don't want to trip your log to go into drive time, but you you could drive so far before it clicks it over. So you could drive for probably up to two miles, you know, in which when you're in a parking lot, that can go fast. So, you know, I have to stop a couple times, you know, let, let the clock reset, you know, and get going down, you know, inside the parking lot. So we got, we got loaded got to the guard shack and he gave me my bills and when you leave there it's kind of like at a dip you know it's like a dip then it turns and then there's an intersection then you turn left so you know he checked the seal and everything we're good to go and i go to leave and, and as soon as <laughs> this is where it gets funny as soon as we get to the dip you know I, I feel like you know it jarred on me i was just like whoa what the heck was that all about you know so you know, I, I get to the bottom of the dip and I turn right and it's and then like, and just, at first I thought maybe like the airlines came disconnected. And then I look back and the trailer is just like, you know, way farther away from than where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Somebody didn't lock in his trailer correctly <laughs> and I dropped my trailer and I got to the intersection and when I turned, what was happening were the legs the, the landing gear were rubbing on the ground. You know, got out, looked, t you know, tug test a couple times, get out there with the flashlight, look. You get in a hurry. You get in a hurry. And this is what happens. So here, here, here's this guy. First thing in the morning, I'm, I'm in the middle of the intersection. 
the landing gear is on the ground and the only thing that saved me somehow or another the airlines and the pigtail were still connected to the trailer I mean they were pulled to capacity <clears throat> <laughs> and I just remember sitting there like what in the world am I gonna do you know trucks are starting to drive around me you know and I got out a couple times but the only thing that saved me was the kingpin was right you know how like right at the back of your trailer or I'm sorry at the back of your tractor you know like where your lights are there's like like where the where the fifth wheel is where it comes kind of slopes down I don't even know what that little piece is in the back you know part of the back of your frame anyway it was the kingpin was right there was just like you know that's the only that's the only thing that was holding the trailer up from falling on the ground so i uh the the only quick thing i was able to think quick to get out of the road was i just i just rolled up the landing gear all the way and, and i i drugged the trailer off the road you know made the turn off the road and I'm, I'm I'm on the shoulder, you know. I got my four ways on and everything. So then I I you know I rolled the landing gear down as far as I could. I mean, and it was, it was a you know like I said thirty eight to forty thousand. So I rolled it down as far as I could. And you know I I tried to kept pulling, you know, back in the trailer, back in the truck up, rolling the landing gear down. You know, just trying. But I mean, we're only talking like two inches here. I mean, the 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 bottom of the trailer was like, you know, like here's the fifth wheel, and here's the trailer, and, you, and all you gotta do is just get up, just so you can get the fifth wheel up underneath the trailer, that's it. I mean, we're talking a couple inches. That was the hardest, probably half hour, 45 minutes of, you know, trying to get one turn, you know, back up a little bit, turn, back up a little bit, turn, I mean, and nobody, you know, it, it was it was call Warner, Take a chance, call them. They may be okay, and send someone out to help you. What are you, you gonna get rode up? You may get fired, or can you handle this yourself? You know. So we're gonna like we ain't gonna call nobody. We're gonna deal with this. And I remember I got down like that last like half inch, and I <laughs> <coughs> probably not the best thing to do, but I remember I was just you know every time I was able to because like you know the fifth wheel fifth wheel is like here. And like the frame of the truck kind of slopes down so you're able to like you know, like just keep pushing the trailer up pushing the trailer up pushing the trailer up pushing the trailer up just keep backing up underneath it and that last couple i mean it was like like a half inch quarter inch i mean i just kept boom 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 trying to get the fifth wheel underneath the trailer and that wasn't working so i had to go back out and keep turning turning you know just, i mean and that was not easy i mean after I got, you know, we just kept turning and turning. And meanwhile, there's traffic everywhere. You know, no one's stopping to help this guy. You know, you know, this dude needs some help. You know, nobody's willing to help anymore. So, you know, and I get it. I get it. You know, just, you know, and I asked myself that too. You know, you know, at six o'clock in the morning, am I going to get out and help somebody? Yes, you should. It'd probably be the right thing to do. But, you know. South Chicago, you gonna go help somebody? It, it probably wasn't the greatest town to be hanging around in on the side of the road in the dark. So, so we fought through, and I remember that time when that when that fifth wheel slid underneath that that trailer, man. Connection, man. I was like, I just sat here in the truck like this, like <laughs> for like 15, 20 minutes. Like I cannot believe I got I got away with this, you know. I mean, if that trailer would have dropped, you know, party over. You know, you 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 ain't doing that, man. We talk about this, like when you're doing dropping hooks or hooking up to a trailer, and, and you got to take your time. You you you, you got to check that. You got to check that locking jaw. You know, I mean, you, you know, check. You, you know, make sure your airlines are connected correctly. You know, make sure your landing gear is up all the way. You know, make sure you got, you know, before you get in there, make sure you get enough grease on that fifth wheel, you know. I mean, there's just, there's no reason to be in a hurry. And that was me. I was in a hurry. And I couldn't give a reason why I shouldn't have been not in a hurry, you know. I guess as drivers, we're always in a hurry. Some, most of the time, we probably don't really need to be in a hurry. 
you just getting stuck in a routine. Go, 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 go. You know, take your time. Learn from <laughs> learn from this mistake because this was a huge. I want to say it was a fail. It could have turned into a huge fail. It was a huge mistake. They could have turned into a terrible lost my job fail. So remember guys, make sure that locking jaw is clicked around that kingpin and make sure you know you are connected correctly before you hit the road. I mean, what if I would have got going down the, down the road and you know 55, 65 miles an hour the trailer just poop just comes right off. Man, I don't even want to talk about what, what could have happened there. Take your time with all this. Learn from this mistake. <laughs> this is a hard trucking fail. What's going on back there? Paperwork. Paperwork. That's a. Are we a trucking fail paperwork right now? No. No. Okay. No. Need some help? No. Oh Mom yeah. Friend, no. All right. Learn from mistakes. Take your time, people. That's all we got. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys next time.